what that has done. You, talk, you said you did some research, psych, psychological research. What did yeah. that book do specifically to help you in the research and help you with your sales? It, it outlined the six, I even have it on my whiteboard back here. I don't know if your audience can see it. I have the six reasons why, what the question to ask is, why are some people so successful in sales? Why is that those one percenters once again? What are they utilizing? And Cialdini got went into who was head of psychology, I think uh, uh, head of psychology, University of uh, Phoenix or something like that. Uh, and I've studied other people, Dr. Eric Byrne, uh, transactional analysis. What are the different roles people play? Ego states. How does emotions play into it? Cialdini said though, that people buy for certain people buy for certain reasons. Mm -hmm. They buy from salespeople because they number one, they like them. They like them. Likeability sometimes leads to trust. When you have trust with a prospect, it's a blank check. Then, okay, people buy from other people because they're an authority figure. You go to your doctor, your lawyer. When you have a problem, you respect their knowledge, their education, their authority. Uh, on that, they buy because of that. They buy because of scarcity sometimes. There's not enough houses on the market and the prices are going up. Well, I better jump on this right now before I lose it. They buy because of reciprocity. If I do something nice for you, do I have the, uh, you ask me for a favor. Do I have to write to ask for a favor back? Hey, uh, Brian, now that we've talked about this and I answered all your questions, if I send you an agreement today, can you get it back to me? Could you do me a personal favor? Um, because I want to work hard selling your home. Could you get me, could you get me back the agreement before 4.30 this afternoon? Would you mind doing that for me, buddy? Yeah. Boom. That's reciprocity um, on that. And um, I'm trying to miss one. Oh, consistency. You got uh, consistent behavior. You're getting people up the yes ladder. Can I get you to say yes a few times in a row? Can I control the whole conversation and the process? And then Guts took all my studies from Cialdini and, and Byrne and Harris and other people who I've read um, and just put it together in a very simple three-step system of learning how to ask the right questions at the right time and, see, and feel wonderfully confident about yourself. Not a bully or a yes. braggart or an intimidator, but just feel good. You know, when you feel good about yourself, guess how many phone calls you can talk, make in a day? As many as you can. As many as you want, because it's fun. <laughs> we've, made, we've made sales so scary. And, so, and it, sales is dangerous to a lot of people. It's, oh, my, bru my ego is yeah. going to get bruised. I'm going to get hurt. I'm going to get rejected. Uh, let me clean the toilet before I make those sales phone calls. <laughs> yeah. You know? And we got to get away from that stuff. We got to make sales so comfortable. Uh, in our, we got to take care of ourselves first. Uh, I always say the salesperson comes first. Especially if you're doing business honestly, ethically, you're giving great value. Why can't you come first? Why can't you put mac and cheese on your family's table? It's awesome stuff. Yeah. And this cool. is, Cialdini was very uh, 